Hi, so this is gonna be a quick one. I'm trying to test the audio and also the camera. I'm recording on my phone right now. I will be getting a camera tomorrow or after tomorrow. Normally it's gonna be better, so let's hope that works out. First, let me tell you what we're gonna do. We will create a face mask. It's gonna be really basic. I'm just I'm gonna use this to to test things out. Let's just let's kind of we'll make it like a basic basic tutorial. I like this one, so we might do one of one of each. Let's copy this and open PureF. Let's drop that there, please. And <clears throat> let's keep this on the side. I have no idea how this works. Okay. Let's put it somewhere. Maybe here. And hopefully I need some comments on the audio and the, the video. I know the quality of the video is not the best, but I just hope the audio is good. So first let's look for a, a head or something. There we have something to work with. Let's get rid of. First, let's show his topology. I think I have this as object, so I'm just gonna keep this and maybe the hair, drag them out, hide everything else. Maybe we keep the eyes. Hood, where are the eyes? Good. And also this material is not the best. Let's maybe give it oh, just white color. By the way, I double click to create new material or you can just go to right click here, I guess. Or create new material. Let's put this somewhere. All right, let's Hold control and click and drag this to add it to this to the eyes and hair and uh, let's start. So I'm gonna make it really basic since I'm just testing things out right now. So let's uh, go to the front view, create a let's create a plane, or let's let's do it the, the basic way. Let's go to create object MC polygon, go to move tool, poly, uh, points mode or vertices and let's right click, I mean holding control and left click like this four times. Now we can go and bridge, right click bridge, bridge these points. Uh, let's make sure the pivot point is in the center. It is, so I can use symmetry now. I hold here, this one, and go to symmetry. And drag that inside. It's in symmetry now. We can go to the perspective view. Let's move this forward a little bit. Just, just 
hostlerimi. <coughs> Now I can select these points in the middle and give them zero on the X. Maybe give them a size zero also. And there. Now I can go to subdivision surface and put that inside. I made a mask. Cool. So let's let's move it properly. Let's first give it a font tag because it doesn't come with one. Just right click, go to Cinema 4D tags and font. Now we're good. Let's see. We can take this up. From here I'll go to loop cut and add, <coughs> add an edge here. <coughs> this forward and this one down here maybe these two cool i think we have the base it's here i'm just moving points around right now maybe this should be i think i should add another edge let's not be it's a Let's add another one. Go to point mode, holding control. Wait, holding control. And let's go back to the edge. Wait. Stay in edge mode, hold control, and click on points mode. So to have it selected. And now I can move this like this, and then move these points to this side, and maybe take this forward a little bit. <clears throat> Looks almost fine. I think I like this. So let's see this a little bit, just like this one here. And uh, we'll add uh, using loop tool, loop, loop cut tool. We can add some points here, then bottom. Now I can uh, ex extrude this to give it thickness. Just a little bit. Let's take this out. We should. I need to see the settings for this. Extrude. We add subdivision here and create cups. Now we're good. Uh, let's put that back in there and do that created a face for us in here so that should be deleted and all these edges must be in zero and zero because they are in the <coughs> intersection there we have it Now we have to do one more thing, which is the thing that goes around the ear, so I can do it from the side easily. Let's go to, what is it called? Go, go, I have no idea, this one. And uh, now we can create a plane, which is easy in this case. Let's move it to the proper place. Scale it down. We imported this object is imported from Maya, so the scale is not uh, the best. Let's rotate this and go to perspective view. Move it this way. Let's keep it simple as always. Take this down to one. Make it editable. Let's move the points now. Let's go to the, top, to the top view, do the same here, put that in the proper place, and this one over the ear. To make things easier, I'm gonna uh, duplicate this, click control and click and drag, 
and then uh, move it down here. Maybe modify it first, then we're gonna merge them together. Again, this is really simple, it's just for testing sake. Let's put this in proper place, then we have we add the edge loops here to make it round. Now we merge them together, right click, select symbol, right click and connect objects and delete. Now we can add, I don't know. Let's just hold control and uh, move and rotate. Do the same here. Now let's go to bridge and bridge these. Maybe I should get rid of one of these edges. Maybe this one. Just right click and dissolve. Now I can move this down and put this somewhere. I would put it with this one. Just drag it here and then. Uh, press Alt G. Now, now we need it, these edges. Maybe from the front view. I didn't spot an edge here. That looks better. Let's add a cut here so that we have this as a let's add a cut here and one here. Now we're good. Or oh, this is bad. Let's, let's scale this one. Let's scale it up. Everything put it put in one object and uh, let's scale it up, delete this, and now let's go back. Okay, let's now take these out of here and delete the small objects. And we only have to move uh, these things and make them fit the object. Why is this looking like this? Let's pretend that it looks, this looks good now. Um, cool. Let's move this. 